President Donald Ramtar, and in keeping with our Constitution, I now invite the Honorable Prime Minister to read the message from His Excellency. Read this message from His Excellency the President. His Excellency the President writes, I am taking the unprecedented step as President of the Cooperative Republic of Guyana to hereby address this message to the members of Parliament of the National Assembly of the 10th Parliament of Guyana on this day, May 22nd, 2013, with the objective of appealing to all members to put Guyana first, despite what differences we may have. I am calling on the parliamentary political parties and their representatives in the Parliamentary Special Select Committee on the Anti-Money Laundering and Countering the Financing of Terrorism Amendment Bill No. 12 of 2013 to do all that is possible to complete its review on this bill and return it to the House expeditiously. I have noted that this bill was read for the first time on April 22nd, 2013, and was sent to a parliamentary special select committee on a motion moved by an opposition member before its second reading. It may be important to consider that many of the countries in the CARICOM region have also experienced challenges as small and developing countries in meeting the recommendations established by the Caribbean Financial Action Task Force International Cooperation Review Group in order to reduce structural, legislative, and administrative deficiencies in the anti-money laundering and the countering the financing of terrorism architecture and to meet the international standards established to protect the international financial and banking systems. However, most noteworthy, at crucial times, in any of these individual countries' process of review, it is instructive to note that the legislatures, comprising both government and opposition, have been able to rise to the occasion and protect national interests and jointly support the amendments to their statutes to reduce these deficiencies. I therefore call on the members of the National Assembly of the 10th Parliament to do all that is possible to re-engage at the Parliamentary Special Select Committee and to bring the anti-money laundering and countering the financing of terrorism bill, amendment bill number 12 of 2013 back to the House at a special meeting on May 24th or latest May 28, 2013 to exclusively address the second and third reading of this bill. It would be remiss of me not, but it would be remiss of me to not emphasize the experience of one of our neighboring countries whose status was downgraded twice in the same review process as we are now doing, and the impact it had on that country. Their legislature unanimously, except for one dissenting voice, approved the statutes which were required to bring that country into compliance with these treaty obligations. This experience is instructive as to the repercussions that will impact on the ordinary people and the economy of Guyana if we too are downgraded and move to a different category. I therefore reiterate that as Guyanese and as political leaders, we have a moral responsibility to support Guyana's compliance with these obligations and the passage of the AMLFT Amendment Bill will bring Guyana in compliance with over 90% of the CFATEC ICRG recommendations. Guyana's destiny is in our is in your hands. I anticipate that as Guyanese first and leaders of our political parties, we shall not be found wanting. 
the Guyanese people are watching and trusting that members of parliament will stand for our country first. I do not expect that this support will limit, nor does my message intend to restrict in any way the opposition's political party's right to criticize or dissect what it sees as deficiencies. But I do emphasize, emphasize, I do emphasize that the passage of the AMLCFP amendment bill will in no small measure contribute to reducing these deficiencies. I end this message with the hope that as honorable men and women, you shall do what is right on this issue for our blessed country, Guyana. Donald Ramatar, President of the Republic of Guyana. Thank you very much, honorable Prime Minister. Announced by the Speaker. Thank you. Honorable members, I was informed that the speaker will not, that well, the speaker is not in the country as such. As you can see, I will be presiding over today's sitting. And as usual, I need your cooperation. Mr. Kumar, are you okay, sir? Leave <laughs> some grass, madam. That's nice. I also wish to announce that leave has been granted to the Honorable Dr. Barry Ramsaran of the 28th of May this year and the Honorable Priya Manichan for today's sitting.